first got involved with the Lincoln Club years ago because I shared their belief that public policies make a difference when it comes to moving this city forward. And we've seen that time and time again. The Lincoln Club helps shape, craft those policies, gets involved in the debate, and probably most important, gets active to ensure that we have the results that move San Diego forward. The Lincoln Club has really changed the game over the last uh, couple of decades. I mean, I, I think uh, business has always had a kind of a tough time in becoming organized politically, and the Lincoln Club really changed that. You know, sometimes I think the business community feels left out of the debate, and the Lincoln Club has been a strong advocate for issues that affect businesses, and without these businesses that support this great economy, uh, we're nothing, and the Lincoln Club has, has provided a, a true voice for them. First thing, we brought the business community together, and uh, the reason that we've been economically so successful is the fact that we've done that. The Lincoln Club wields tremendous power and clout, and they also raise a lot of money, and candidates who are pro-business uh, and running for important positions need to pay attention to the Lincoln Club and, and talk with them. The leaders of San Diego actually came from the Lincoln Club. The Lincoln Club supported me, and if it wasn't for their support, I probably wouldn't be the assembly member in the 76th Assembly District. In my race, uh, I was a, a small business owner, and the Lincoln Club members uh, recognized that I understood business, I was a business owner myself, and they were very supportive. They were one of the pillars of um, the campaign and one of the reasons that I won you know, the city council seat. Well, I got involved with the Lincoln Club as a business owner because I was realizing that I was losing a lot of clients out of the city because of political decisions that were being made. So I figured it's time for me to get involved and I joined the Lincoln Club. Well, I um, started off with a, uh, a great golf game with uh, the president, Bill Lynch, and that was a, long, a while ago. And we talked about what is important uh, as a uh, elected official to, uh, to address. You know, I've, I've come to, to find them as being great allies to me uh, at City Hall and also now in, in the private sector. They started the, the formation of business getting together and actually becoming much more active and uh, the Chamber has really relied on the Lincoln Club to show us the way to go on that so we're, we're grateful for the, what they started. San Diego is leading the way in innovation. San Diego is leading the way in entrepreneurs but they know how important it is to have that climate that helps them be successful not a government that puts up barriers and roadblocks. That's where the Lincoln Club comes in. Well, California is obviously a tough state in which to do business, and uh, what we could do here at the local level is make San Diego the best place on the West Coast in which to do business. And uh, we really need groups like the Lincoln Club fighting and pressuring the elected officials and, and doing what it can to organize a business community so that we can all make that happen. We're starting to make a difference at City Hall, and we're starting to see that the elected officials, many of whom who've never run a business before, are starting to realize that the decisions they make affect how businesses survive and how they pay their employees. And I just wanted to say thank you for bringing that forward, and together we'll, we'll keep it going. Lincoln Club right now is on a roll, and there's no doubt about it. Because the club's standing up, because the club is actively supporting those candidates that support a pro-jobs, an economic opportunity message, we're winning. Because San Diegans believe in that message. So when we look at the victories of Mark Kirsten, Lori Zapp, Scott Sherman, and soon to be Chris Cape, that's why the Lincoln Club is so important. Well, the Lincoln Club clearly has staying power, and uh, it's really evolved over the last 30 years, but uh, the fact that it's still here, that it's still strong, in fact, it's probably stronger than ever, uh, I think speaks to the quality of the leadership as well as the quality of the members. These are people who get it, and they are a great avenue to just stay connected, be involved, have a voice, and be just a, a part of a, a really dynamic group of people. Now they're even actually breaking out and uh, reaching out into these urban communities that they feel that you know, they should have a voice there too, and I think that's very important. I think the Lincoln Club is doing a great job. And the work that Ryan Klumpner is doing as the executive director, I think is, has the club prepared to go to the next level in ensuring that we have economic prosperity across the San Diego region. The Lincoln Club has done so much for San Diego, and uh, with the uh, support uh, and the economics of uh, so many people. 
we will be here, I hope, for another 31 years, at least. It takes involvement to shape this city. And to everybody who's here tonight at the dinner, I wanted to say thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the Lincoln Club. And probably most important, thanks for taking a stand. It makes a huge difference. That's why the club has been so successful, and that's why we need you for years to come.